YouTube, how's everyone doing today? So we're going to do a taper and let's jump right into this haircut tutorial. So we're going to set our first guideline with our trimmers and we're going to come back with our shavers, making sure that we do a flick out motion without getting too close to where we left off with the trimmers. Okay, so now with our lever open, we're going to set our first guideline so we're going to be working in a very small area. So you're going, you guys are going to be seeing a lot of open and close uh, with all the guards that we're going to be using today. So as you work this taper, you're going to be closing the lever and you're also going to be staying underneath where you initially created your guy line so you don't create a new line. All right, so now with your half guard, we're going to do the same process. You're going to start with the lever open, create a small guideline, and then you're going to work your way down as you start to close your lever at the same time. Remember, very important to use your corners. You're going to be using both of your corners to make sure that you are able to do the blurriest uh, taper face. All right, guys, so I definitely do not consider this to be a beginner type of haircut uh, or process I should say since the area you're working in it's a very small area you don't have too much space to make too many errors so make, make sure you follow as long as you follow these steps then you will not make any mistakes you could always correct them and continue to fade as you go now with the number one guard open we're going to create another guideline I would say about uh, less than half an inch and you're going to start to close that lever as you work your way down making sure that you remove any dark spots all right so now with the one and a half guard we're going to do the same thing with the lever open remember open and close open and close um, there is some lines that I could still see so first you, you work your way up and as you continue to do this type of haircut throughout the process you could always go back and fix any any errors or anything left behind all right so now with my trimmers we're going to hit the, the vertical bars and the C cup area uh, I don't want it to be too crispy I don't want to push it back too much so we left it a little bit more natural all right, so now on the other side, we're going to create our first guy line with the trimmers. Um, I'm aware that I left this one a little bit more straight than the other one, but it's still the same process. You're able to, uh, once you start doing the blend, uh, you'll see it, it looks the same on both sides, even though I left it a little bit more of a circular shape. So I'm just being straightforward with you guys, trying to be transparent as possible. Um, we all make mistakes so we're still able to correct those type of mistakes so now we're going to create our first guideline with the lever open and as you can see I'm closing the lever as I work my way down trying to just erase that line and then so with my half guard open we're going to go ahead and repeat the, the same steps we did on the other side so first open and then you start to close work your way down remember to use those corners very important as long as you don't go past where you initially created your guideline you should be able to get this get this taper nice and, and blurry all right so i'll let you guys continue to watch the video so i'm pretty much going to repeat the same steps that i did on the other side Now using my Andy's Master Coreless with the number 3 guard, we're going to start to debulk this uh, back part so we have a better visibility 
uh, to start doing the taper. Okay, so now with the number one guard open, we're going to get this area ready to start our taper. Alright, so now with our baby list trimmers, we're going to set our first skyline to start this taper fade. Alright, so now with my baby list shavers, we're going to clean the bottom part, making sure you flick out at the top, and remember not to put too much pressure or you could irritate the skin. Alright, so we're going to create our first guy line with our lever open, about an inch or so. And then we're going to start to close the lever and work from the bottom up to erase that line. And you're going to gradually start to open the lever to get the full phase. Okay, so now with my one guard open, uh, we're going to do the same process we did on both sides. First creating a gui guideline, and then we're going to start to close our lever and work our way down to erase, uh, erase that line. Now with our one and a half guard open, we're going to do the same process and work our way down by closing the lever. Remember it does not have to be perfect since we are going to do some details at the end to get that perfect blend. Alright, so you're going to see me go back and forth with different guards just to perfect this taper. I am not going to lie, his hair texture was a bit difficult to get the perfect fade that I was looking for. So I had to go back and forth with different guards in order to make that happen. Now with my three guard open, we're going to clean up the area above to remove all that bulk. Alright, so now with my trimmers, lining up the back, making sure it's very crispy, nice and straight, starting to look good. We're still going to go back and correct a few things. Alright, so now with my shears, we're going to start to smooth out the top areas so we're able to connect and have a nice transition with our taper. So I like to work with my comb and shears from the bottom up. As you can tell, I start from the bottom and as I start to cut to the top, uh, my comb is floating out a bit. It's not, I'm not digging in too deep. So that way I don't cut, I don't cut more than I have to. All right.
right so as you can tell i'm bouncing back and forth from different things i normally like to do that so that way my my eye is able to see better when i come back to the detail work because whenever you focus too much on the detail work there might be things that you don't see and for example if you go back to your shear work or you start you look away for a second and you you look at your taper again you're going to be able to have a better view of what's going on Alright, so I use my one and a half guard open uh, around the ear. I feel like it leaves a perfect length to connect the side and the back. Alright, so making sure you spray the hair down, we're going to cut off about an inch on the top, he didn't want it too short, and uh, we're just going to make, make sure everything is even.
All right, so now we're going to enhance the hair a little bit. This is just to add some little details that will make the haircut stand out a little bit more. Um, it's not going to look super dark. It w it, he wanted it to look uh, natural, but this will also help it to stand out a little bit more, especially for the pictures. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to use the separate things, but I think it's good to do a little bit of everything. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing on this side. Um, and this is a barber pen. Normally it's used for the beard, but I like to use it for the lineups. Um, I also use hair fiber sometimes, but for this video I wanted to use uh, this pen since it, was, it would leave it a little bit more natural. Just use your brush to take off the axis and get it to blend nice and natural. Okay, so now we're going to do the back. Uh, I just feel this uh, definitely gives a, a little bit more detail. It makes it pop out. The contrast between the black and, and the white makes it stand out. As you can tell, the, the taper is starting to look very nice. It's starting to pop out with that little white. So we just put some gel on the neckline, remove all the excess hair with the blade. YouTube, here's the final product. Let me know what you guys think. Very nice taper. I, I definitely like the outcome is just a process of trial and error. You have to practice going back and forth with the different guards to get this perfect blend. And his haircut, his hair texture definitely was a bit difficult for me. I'm not going to lie. But here are the final results. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I will be loading up more content pretty soon. You guys already know. Hit that notification bell, subscribe, the like button. See you guys soon.